Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com on a Tuesday, 2018 Panini Contenders Football Full Case. Pick your team number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Nine on the 15th. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Sam with that last spot mojo, Dolphins, and thanks everyone else for getting in as well. front of you my friends three four stacks of three to make 12 all right here just have oh well, here i'll just show you we'll give you the 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 uh helicopter shot right there all right and as you know by now two autographs Five autographs per buck. Two is contenders basketball. Five in contenders football. Per box on average. Sometimes we've seen a below average box. Four autographs. But then it usually is balanced out by an above average box. With six autographs in the box. So it kind of evens out in the end. All right. Good luck, everybody. Not much on TV tonight, folks. I, I switched away from... <laughs> Is that our best bet, Eric Crow? I switched away from that Kentucky Georgia basketball game, college basketball game. I'm gonna go with NFL Total Access. Oh yeah, NBA TV Sixers T Wolves. I can do Sixers T Wolves. I, I can do. Oh, there it is. It's right next to NFL Network. There you go. Do I have Do I have a financial interest in this game? I do have a financial interest in this game, Josh Pruse. I, I've made an investment on the heavy favorite, Sixers, who play very well at home, but not always covering as much as you'd like them to. But that is the professional entity in this particular matchup that I have Made a financial investment on Sixers and Pacers, folks. Atlanta plus the points, Miami plus the points, and Denver. That's a, that's gonna be the good game tonight. Golden State Warriors at the Denver Nuggets. We got more football in the store. Check it out, JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We got hoops in the store as well, JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, and baseball. Even some prime racing. Daytona 500 is around the corner. That gives you some uh, inspiration. All right. Let's see. My hands kind of lie right there. That's center, centered right there. There we go. Our first autograph is Billy Price is right for Conrad and the Bengals. The one per case, Billy Price. And we've got a... Mark Walton, nice. Playoff ticket autograph right on the card as well. One on-card autograph per box in this, ladies and gentlemen. In case you're keeping track at home. Out of 49. We got, there's my boy Colton Miller. Well, UCLA kid as well. Goes to the Raiders. Jeff Truesdale with my Raiders. For the Eagles. Josh Adams for the Fly Eagles. Fly Keith Cameron with that one. Something to send all the way to Scotland. Folks, when I when I say we broadcast from coast to coast and all around the world, 
Not a lie, not fake news, real news, truth news. We've got Javon Wims, championship ticket autograph to 49, 17 out of 49. That goes to the Bears, Patrick Edwards with the Bears. <laughs> Brett Arnett saying, cry, Eagles, cry. I, th I thought they were going to do it. They were up 14 nothing early on. And I was like, is this Foles magic again? God. Big Nick coming up with the, the big plays. There's Kurt Benkert for the Falcons. That goes to Mark. One, two, three, four. There, there's six autos right there. An above average box. But then the game just slipped away from the. Uh, there's Antonio Brown at 99. And the games just slip away from from the from the Eagles. Just keep letting the uh, Saints back into it. The Saints took care of business in the end. All right, nice first box. Just finish off that stack right there. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Well, let's get our let's get our early thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. We're we're. Right, what are the early thoughts? <laughs> Josh Bruce is like, where's our Philly? is going to the Super Bowl, friend. I don't know if he's had permission from his parents to be on the internet tonight, Josh. Well, we got Rams at Saints. That's a rematch from week 10 or 11. And then we've got New England at KC. The final four is set. I think this is a pretty, ex this should be a pretty exciting Sunday of football, ladies and gentlemen. Should be pretty good. Brett's asking, who do I have in the Patriots versus Chiefs game? I'm riding Chiefs. I'm going Chiefs. New England has not played well on the road. They haven't been the same New England as we've seen in recent years. But, you know, they're taking care of business at home for sure. You know, beating up on the weaker teams, taking care of business at home, doing what they need to do, right? On the road, they're a little different on the road. And Kansas City certainly, uh, you know, much better at home. So, I, th I, think, I think they've got a little... They've got that magic, you know what I mean? The same way the Eagles had a little bit of that magic last year. You kind of feel a little bit of that. You kind of feel a little bit of that with Kansas City. So, you know, yeah, with Patrick Mahomes as like a, as like a talisman, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm riding with the Chiefs. Oh, yeah, New England certainly had, Brett, you're right. He, he, Brett's like, hey, I don't know. New England might surprise a lot of people. If there is a team that could surprise a lot of people, it would be New England. There's Andrew Luck. You know, like, if if there's someone who can come up with the defensive schemes to stop Patrick Mahomes, it'd be Bill Belichick at all. You know what I mean? So, and the rest of that staff. Nice Saquon Barkley. 18 out of 25 playoff ticket autograph. Playoffs? Playoffs? That goes to the New York Football Giants and Patrick Edwards. Nice. There it is. There he is. Yeah, we'll randomize these left and right, by the way. D Porter, what's going on, Darren? Just in time to see that Saquon Barkley. Brett saying, last Sunday is the best he's seen the Patriots play for a long time. They did look good. There's MJ's tour. Or, or was it more of the Chargers not really showing up? I think... I think it was like the Chargers' like third or fourth road game in a row. That's always tough. MJ Stewart going to Chris Parent and the Buccaneers. All 
That guy, that that guy may be the one to take him all the way. There's Marcus Allen. Not that Marcus Allen. The the Steelers edition of Marcus Allen going to Michael Gallucci, Seal Curtain and the Steelers. We got Ryan Nall, rookie ticket autograph for the Bears. That'll go to Patrick Edwards. And then we have Dorrance Armstrong Jr., Cowboys. That goes to James. D. Porter saying KC took their foot off the pedal a little bit with Indianapolis. If they do that with New England, Brady will make them pay. This is absolutely true. I wonder if if they didn't want to give away too much in that game. You know, you know what I mean? Maybe they're a little gamesmanship there. All right. <clears throat> Was that another above average box, Jason's pointing out? Uh, Mr. Fife is asking, do we have an email address? Of course. It's 2019. Jaspiescasebreaks at gmail.com. Oh, it's not on the site? Oh, that's weird. Sorry. should be on the site. Jaspiescasebreaks at gmail.com for any customer service related question. I personally don't check the customer service side of things, but that's where, that's where it is. Anthony Serrata, I just bought a spot. Excellent. Thank you. You should receive an automated email, Anthony, confirming that order. Are we running any more of those four box of contenders? No, not at the moment. I don't know if we will or not. I don't plan those things. <laughs> I'm just the guy that just sits here and talks and opens up boxes. Everything else related to this business... I have no say. No one asked my opinion. I look on the website just like you guys. I wake up in the morning. There's fake Patrick Mahomes. I wake up in the morning. First thing, make some coffee. First thing I do, go to jazpiescasebreaks.com. What's on the site? If it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. Cam Sims, rookie ticket autograph for Patrick K. Uh, fake Patrick Mahomes goes to Davey Allison. I might I might have had to. Playoff ticket, Marcus Mariota to 175. Uh, pass break recipient. Um, okay, um, thanks, Greg. Uh, yeah, as long as you email us, I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when and if we get there. There's Jordan Mailata. Uh, and Mart, no Vikings as of yet. Eagles, Keith Cameron with another eagle. And look at this. For the Purple Birds... Seven out of 24, cracked ice, Lamar Jackson, Action Jackson, going to Corey McNeil and the Ravens. 
Play like a raven today. Nice. Now what a case indeed, Deep Hoarder. Pretty nice so far. So we got Saquon Barkley. And now we got Lamar Jackson already. Done. The hit list. Taking care of business already. And we got Sam Hubbard. Rookie ticket autograph for the Bengals. That'll be for Conrad. Another nice box in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Landon, I think we, I think that must be like our third or fourth Barkley by now. I think night two we, we found a couple more Barkleys, maybe three. So in fact, we've seen multiples of these guys multiples of this guy, finally multiples of this guy, multiples of this guy. This guy is now the more rare one. I think we've only seen one or two of his autographs. As opposed to the rest, we've probably seen three or four of the other big name rookies by now. So Sam Darnold appears to be elusive. At least relative to our cases and relative to the other rookies. Oh, did Nick pull a one of one printing plate, Darnold? Autograph? That's pretty nice. Yeah, Landon echoing the same thing, too. Auto? Wow. All right, well, there you go. That makes up for the lack of uh, Darnold's, I suppose. That is correct, Enmar. That is the second Lamar Jackson cracked ice. We've pulled two out of the 24. And then we pulled a couple base autographs of Lamar Jackson as well. Jake Kumro. And we've got Dylan Contrell for the Chargers. Contrell for the Bolts going to William Clayton. And for the Packers, it'll be Jake the Snake for Brad and the Packers. There you go, Brad. And then Dolphins, Minka Fitzpatrick, nice. Oh, Nick's doing recap videos for you guys? Oh, man. Sam Rail, Last Spot Mojo. There you go, Sam. Hmm. So, I mean, I have to do recap videos? I just want to make people watch the entire video. We talk about all sorts of fun stuff. It's like a, po it's like a podcast, like an hour-long podcast. I should just be like, I should just be like, you know what? There's Rashad Penny, live auto Rashad Penny on card for the, uh, for Cruz and the Seahawks. I should be like, I'm going to have a secret word somewhere in the contenders video. And that'll give you 25% off your next order or something like that. Then everyone will watch the video. 
I feel like that's not fair to the uh, the people who grind it out and watch live. If I do a recap video, you know, in instead of like watching the entire break, like most of you, or like some of you had to do live. The people that missed the break get the easy way out. Winner take all on the points. And just watch the recap video and be like, yeah, done. We got Jalen Holmes. That's the first Viking Four and Mart. There you go, Nick. Out of forty nine legendary contenders, Emmett Smith. Eric Crow thinks Nick has to adopt the Big Hit Express. Uh, maybe. If he wants to, he's more than welcome to use it. Still trademarked within the Jaspi family. It's all good. I suppose Nick could, Nick could come up with his own, his own thing. What if he had like a like a foghorn, like an old an old foghorn? That could be a good sound. Burr, burr. No. What about uh? What about beep beep? No, that's not as exciting, right? He'll come up with something. One of these days, inspiration will strike Nick Jaspi. So stay tuned. You never know when it's going to happen. When inspiration strikes and he, he has his own, like, his own catchphrase. Something. Because Joe Jaspi said so. Uh, Josh Proust already looking ahead to the next break. What are we doing next? He's asking, what are we doing next? I think I only see... I see only a couple new orders coming in right now. We're, this break will be done in about 35 minutes or so. And then what? And however long it takes me to put the stuff away. There's Anthony Averett. So before you know it, we'll be... We'll be uh, looking for the next break to fill. So if you're not part of this break, you don't feel like watching the rest of this contenders break, I don't think it's as fun if you're not in it, um, then visit the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. You can join the next contenders break. Got another case in the store. Um, or something else. Baseball, football, basketball. We got plenty in the store. All right, there's a... Peyton Manning, legendary contenders for the Broncos, Ricky Holbert with that insert. We've got Chris Warren the third rookie ticket autograph for my Raiders. I barely know this guy. Jeff Truesdale. Yeah, my Raiders are going to need a lot of work in the offseason season. In the draft and oh no, I remember this guy. In the draft and free agency, everything. They don't even know where they're gonna play next year, you guys. That that's not set. There's Dante Jackson for the Panthers, Brandon Thomas. With Carolina. And for the Niners, Mike McGlinchey. For San Francisco, John Gotti with the Niners. SF on the board. 
You know, no one has thoughts for Josh Pruis. No one knows what they're doing next, Josh. Look at this. Draft class, Mason Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. 30 out of 49. Is this the future for the Pittsburgh quarterback position? That goes to Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain, and his Steelers. I think Mike has, has said before that he, he believes that's the case. Maybe another year or two of, of seasoning behind Ben Roethlisberger, who's on the certainly more on the sunset end of his career. Not done yet, but... Although I feel like in the quarterback position, it's all it's always it's like what happened to it's like what happened to this guy, right? It's like they, they always think they can play every year. Yeah, sure, I can do it. I can do it until they're replaced in the middle of the season, <laughs> unceremoniously. Life comes at you fast, folks, especially in professional sports. <laughs> Josh says it's okay. I, I accept the shunning. You know what's weird? I don't know. I don't really have a theory for the, or a, an idea or a hypothesis on why this is. But for some reason, I feel like we we rarely sell. I guess recently we've been pretty busy, but I think in general on like a more normal day, I feel like we never really break or fill breaks in advance. <laughs> I think everyone waits until the break is over, then they go to the site, and then they start buying everything. It's kind of a weird weird thing. During a break, no one buys anything. After the break, everyone's like, oh, okay, let's start buying things now. I don't care either way, as long as stuff sells out. But it's just an interesting interesting uh, shopping trend that I've, that I've noticed on our, our, on our side anyway. TJ, what's going on? TJ in the house. Nicholas Casberg, any big hits yet? Oh, there's an exciting hour-long video for you to watch after the end of this break, Nicholas. Oh, Eric Crow spoiled it. Come on, Eric. We're supposed to make him watch the hour-long video. There it is. All right, well, it's that, yeah, it's the cracked ice. There's Riley McCarron. And there was a Saquon earlier too, Nicholas. Yep. And, there, and, a, Saqu and a numbered Saquon Barkley autograph earlier. I think out, of, out of like our first or second box. There it is. Out of 25. So it's been a pretty good, and some other solid autos too. It's been a pretty good case thus far. Um, that goes to Robert Throne and the Patriots. Patriots have to watch the throne. People are coming at him. Another Pat. Duke Dawson. Rookie ticket autograph for Robert again. James Washington is your on card in this box. That goes to Michael Gallucci and the Steelers. And then we've got Niners edition of Bill Romanowski. There he is. Going to John Gotti and the Niners, the controversial Bill Romanowski. And then we've got Jake again, another Jake for Brad and the Packers.
D nip nineteen eighty five in the house. Dennis saying roids for Bill Romanowski. No, Bill Romanowski roids never. Say it ain't so. What's up, Mark? Pull Calvin Ridley. That's the plan. Uh, the the Kurt Ben Kurt not enough. There's Matt Stafford playoff ticket out of one seven. We already got you a Kurt Ben Kurt. I thought that's what you wanted. I I feel like we haven't seen it, barely seen any Calvin Ridley's. I think we how many cases of this have we done? We've done dozens of boxes, and I want to say we've probably seen maybe one Calvin Ridley. Not too many Darnolds either. All right, we are halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice, Mark. How, how is how's old Jim doing? Sorry, Chad. Why do I think what happens? Oh, Mark, are you are you coming out to uh, come out to California for the, the tournament at the Riviera? I, th I know you made that trip a couple years ago, like two or three years ago. What breaks next? Well, that's that's the million dollar question. What breaks next? I don't know. No, well, nothing sold out at the moment. So, I think we, Josh Proust and I were trying to figure that out. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. That's good to hear. Jim Nance seems like a good guy. Oh, okay. So why we don't see a certain player for a while? Believe it or not, it's it's random. You know, it's. They don't, well, for a product like this, they're not hand placing in auto. So they're not going, all right, let's make sure Calvin Ridley appears every other case and blah, 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 blah. It's, it's random. It's random on how, how the autographs are loaded in at the, and it's not Panini either. I, I think Panini ships the autographs all to the, the big card factories in Dallas or outside of Dallas. And it's the people, it's just all, they're all randomly inserted. So, and then they're randomly placed into packs, and they're randomly placed into box, and the boxes are randomly placed into cases. And then the cases get randomly shipped out to distributors, and distributors randomly send it to us. You know, so if you think about it, they probably make thousands of these cases, right? How many thousands of cases? Oh, budget got cut? All right, next year. Well, you got to come visit us next year, Mark. Um, so... We are if, so. If you think about it, with the thousands of cases that are made, we're only seeing. I mean, even even though we're on break, pick your team nine, and we've probably done a few. We've probably done a few uh, cases of random teams as well. That's a small fraction of the entire print run that we that exists out there. So we just may have gotten the cases that had the two uh, Lamar Jackson cracked ice autographs, while someone else is just getting all the Sam Darnolds or the Calvin Ridleys. It's just hard to it's hard to predict. There's Durham Smythe. That goes to the Dolphins. Sam Rail with the Dolphins last spot mojo. So Well, if we were going to see an equal amount of players in every case, then it wouldn't be random. They they would be specifically planning planning how they're inserting certain guys in here. They don't do that with contenders. They may do that for they they do, I think they hand pack flawless. So stuff like flawless, that's intentional, I think. There's Chris Warren the 3rd again for the Raiders. Maybe National Treasures may be a little more intentional on how they're inserted in. But a product of this with this many cards and this many cases being printed. It's just, uh, it is just random. There's Micah Kaiser. Mm. 
Right, and that being said, yeah, you're exa- you're you're right, Josh. Some cases just have more of a play. I mean, we've how many Chase Littons have we seen? How many Chase Edmonds have we seen? You know, there's just a lot more of those guys to balance out some of the more popular guys. Harrison Phillips, and again, remember they're making. I mean, how many cases do you think they make of this? They must make thousands upon thousands of cases. So even if you watch. 20 breaks, you're still only, you've still only seen a small fraction of the entire contender's print run. Think about that. You can watch 100 cases. There's Vic Beasley Jr. for Mark, 41 out of 99, who saw a, uh, who got a Rosen out of 18 in a case that he had in Arizona. Now, some conspiracy theorists have said that there, there are geographic, uh, Cases are somehow distributed geographically, but that's not true either. It's all that's all pretty random. There's Neam Hines for the Colts. That'll be for William Clayton. All right, yeah, and Brandon's saying, I've seen more one-of-one one autos pulled than cracked ice autographs. I suppose there's a way to math it out. You know what I mean? If you take the if you take the odds right here, you take the checklist, you take how many autographs each person should have. You know what I mean? Like you could kind of figure it out. I guess you don't really know how many base autos of Neam Hines there are, you know what I mean? So that kind of makes it difficult. But in terms of numbered cards, you could try to math that out. If you kind of figure out, guesstimate how many cases they made. You know, how many cracked ices there are. And then kind of get a loose probability on how many cracked ices you should see. But even that's not guaranteed, you know what I mean? Because it's not like it's not like they're saying, you know, one out of every a thousand packs should have a cracked ice. It's just that it's just random. Or does it? I think it's just random. No, yeah, they just say what they're numbered to, not out of how many packs you should expect them. Yeah, that that was that was pretty lucky for us. Yeah, our first or second case did have marks pointing out did have like three cracked ice autos or something like that. It was kind of crazy. All right, Big Boys 007 in the house. What's going on, Dave? All right, we're flying through this break, folks. There's Alex McGuff for Cruz and the Seahawks. Yeah, Mark's saying tops, you can, you can calculate print runs, but Panini, it's a lot more difficult. Sometimes it's easier... You, it's easy to easier to do it. There's Jair Alexander for the Packers, Brad. It's easier to do it if there's like a guaranteed one per case. Cause then you can just take the checklist. You know, see how many one per case of this are supposed to be in each case, and then that gives you a general idea of how many cases there are, but et cetera, et cetera. We've got DJ Moore on card autograph for the Panthers. Nice one for Brandon Thomas. There you go, Brandon. Nick never posted certified one to YouTube. <laughs> Brandon Thomas just finished saying, come on, DJ Moore or Lou Keekley. Wait till the video catches up. There it is. You're welcome, Brandon. 
just like that. We have not seen a golden ticket, and Mart, that's correct, Nick. I've not seen a golden ticket. We gotta buy more Wonka bars, I guess. And nice Josh Sweat ticket stub autograph. 61 out of his jersey number, 75. That goes to Keith Cameron and the Fly Eagles Fly. And we've got Mike Boone, Booney going to and Martin the Vikings. <laughs> right. No, we never hit that that jersey number we never hit, Josh. On this side, all all of these ticket stubs are always to their jersey number. But it's the left side number we we never hit. We're, ne we're like we never hit a 75 out of 75. It'll be like 74. If you're looking for monster hits, ladies and gentlemen, one of ones, train whistles, cracked ices, you're in the right place. Now, if you're looking to hit jersey numbers, you're in the wrong place. We don't hit jersey number cards, very rarely. <laughs> very rarely. We'll never hit a 59 out of 99 Luke Keekley. That just will never happen. It'll be 58, 57, around there. There's Aaron Rodgers. 51 out of 175, Packers. So, just something we don't do here. <laughs> Monster hits? Sure, we got them. Fast shipping? We got that. Good customer service? Of course. Family-friendly show? Right here, right now. This guy? You got it? Train whistles? We got it. Jersey number? Cards with jersey numbers on it? No, always one off, yeah. One off the jersey number, two off the jersey number. Yeah, we got that. We can deliver that for you eight days a week. Nice website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's also good on your mobile device or tablet, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got that. Jersey numbers, no. We don't have that. I know, watch, we're going to hit a jersey number right now, right? That's good. I'd, I'd like to turn that trend around. I'd like to hit more jersey numbers. Oh, yeah, Chad B. Uh, Greg Fife was looking for you. G5. Keith Cameron saying, you're asking to be proved wrong, Joe. I'd love to be proved wrong, sir. I'd like to hit. I, I'd like to go on a run, the rest of 2019, hitting jersey numbers left and right. That's a trend we would like to turn around. Uh, sorry, Greg. We're, we can't have your personal email address in this public forum, unless you wanted a bunch of. Uh, want to be signed up for a bunch of escort sites by the 11 year old kids who watch this stream of which there are many but if you email me I can we can forward that information on to Chad Patrick K with that one unless you don't care you can be signed up for yeah it's, this is not just me and Stephen K and Brandon Thomas and Keith Cameron watching there are a lot of people that watch that aren't <laughs> that aren't regular chatters who could be more nefarious than the nice folks that regularly chat with us. There's Shaquem Griffin for the Seahawks. That goes to Cruz. Stephen K saying that we got some, that you just got some cards from contenders and had an 11 out of 25 Kyrie Irving cracked ice. Is that a jersey? Man? All right, so sometimes we do, just not all the time. All right, I, I'll, I'll take care of that. There's Sam Hubbard, Mr. Fife. I guess he doesn't want to be signed up for uh, for escort sites, I guess. No fun, Fife, no fun. Deontay Burnett, 
That goes to Jeremy Tillman and the New York Jets, Jets, Jets. Conrad with the Sam Hubbard, Hubbard, Hubbard. There's a redemption down there. Brandon Thomas hoping it's a uh, Luke Keekley. Thought one of these would be numbered, but they're not. <laughs> if other, uh, Greg saying if other people want to uh, to pay for those services, you'd be like, might as well. I don't want to spend my money on that. All right, the redemption, and then the final three boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Enmart saying ten bucks. It's a Derwin James auto. He is pretty common as a redemption in this. Or Sony Michelle rookie ticket RPS. Mister S. That goes to New England, uh, Robert Throne. Oh, nice. That's a that uh, was that was that more or less than? Before I say what I think about the price, it was that more or less than you thought it would be. We got Stephen K. A uh, out of uh, an upper deck product. I think we got him. One of those big hard court pieces of the hard court with Steph Curry's auto on it and his jersey number. He said he got nine hundred. Yeah, and Mark, you got to you got to put ten bucks into the, into the into the pool into the pot. And he finally sold it for nine hundred bucks. The smiley face suggests that he's happy with the price that he got. Stephen K says he's happy with it. Fair deal and a great profit for him. Yeah, a very nice profit. All right, three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. We should be done with this break in the next... 10 or 15 minutes. Um, I see, do I, how many orders do I see in here? I see about five orders in here. So I don't know what they're for, but unless those five people sold out a break, we may need a little more help, ladies and gentlemen. So go to jazbeescasebreaks.com and get into the action. We've got content. The, we got another full case of contenders in the store right now. That's almost in single digits. Ten left on that, and I think we have one more case. And I think that might be it. I'm not sure though. We might be getting more. I don't know. That part I don't know. There's Antonio Brown to 175. Maybe we're saving that case for mixers. I have no idea. I'm not privy to that information. We got Tanner Lee out of 99. That goes to Brad and the Jaguars. This That might be the Derwin James we were looking for, Anmar. <laughs> you want to double down, Nick? Get your 10 bucks back? There is Carlton Davis doing the Carlton. Going to Chris Parent and the Buccaneers. All right, M Mart's got that doubled down. Uh oh. <laughs> Although Chad thinks it's going to be a carry on Johnson. John Raposo thinks Kike Kuti. Five thinks it's 
uh, Kalen Balage. There's Chase Edmonds. We were wondering where he was. Ricky Holbert with the Cardinals. One per case, Chase Edmonds. There's Darius Leonard. Nice Darius Leonard. That goes to the Colts. William Clayton with the Colts. And Doris Fountain of Youth is your on-card autograph. William Clayton's heating up. It's Derwin James. There you go, Enmart. Rookie ticket autograph. This goes to William Clayton and the Chargers. He's on fire. Nice. Enmart doubled down. Got him, Enmart. You're good. All right, two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, approximately 10 autographs to go. Good luck, boys and girls. Ricky Holbert now reporting that there are nine left in Ticket Team 10. So that is in single digits. Jesse O, yes. Next Contenders is in single digits. Ricky and Jesse are letting me know. We can, do, we can knock out another one. I don't think there's a, any big new releases this week, ladies and gentlemen. So what you see on the site, that's what we're working on this week. We've got some fun mixers up there as well. So all sorts of things, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon Thomas saying, I'm just going to keep buying into these contenders until he gets a cracked ice. They're tough to hit. We don't see too many per case. But it is a valiant case. Everybody loves those things. They, they look pretty cool, for sure. Faux show. All right. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. First autograph out of here is Trenton Cannon. That goes to Jeremy Tillman and the Jets. Another Eagle. 92 out of 99. Dallas waiting for Godare. Goddard going to Keith Cameron. Feels like a redemption behind my. There it is. Redemption. Any guesses right here? Deontay Burnett. Another jet for Jeremy Tillman. Just green teams hitting. And there's that Texan, Vincent Smith. Eric Crow with the Texans. There you go, Eric, Eric on the board. Uh, 
There's Deshaun Hamilton to 25. And Mark guessing carry on Johnson. Brandon Thomas saying probably Kalen Balaj, but hoping a Luke Keekley. John Post saying Kike Kuti or Balaj. Five saying Kuti. It, or Cortland Sutton, rookie playoff ticket variation RPS. Ricky Holbert with the Broncos. And a little Oppo Joe Mojo. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Landon asking if anybody wants to get into XR, he'll grab a spot to move it. Well, everyone's waiting for you, Landon. It's already down to seven. So people do want to get into XR. And they have. With only seven left in five box pick a team ten, we can knock that out pretty quickly too. That's 2018 edition of XR football, ladies and gentlemen. I think that should be a third of the case, five box break. Andrew needs a Titan. Needs a hashtag Titan up. And we get one of the guys that makes cupcakes. It's a pretty hilarious commercial. I didn't, I didn't realize they actually had a cupcake shop. They do. Fact. Arakpo and another one of his teammates. Just getting ready for life after football. It's a smart play. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. We got Kurt Benkert, rookie ticket autograph for Mark. Haven't seen this guy in a minute or two. And Malik Jefferson, rookie ticket autograph for Conrad. And Joshua Jackson, rookie ticket autograph for Brad and the Packers, the Go Pack Go. there. Stay on target. There's Jimmy Garoppolo to 175. We got Leighton Vander Esch. Three out of 99. Nice one for the Cowboys. James with the boys. And Jamon Moore, one of one. I got a little extra auto from Jamon Moore as well. A little extra ink there instead of just a standard J. And a one of one. Going to Brad and the Packers. There you go, Brad. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. You're welcome, James. Nice Leighton Vanderish back there, too. And there you go, folks. Out of fives and under, of course. Train whistles. There's the Garoppolo for the Niners for John. 
Yeah, very nice case, Enmar. I think this is a very nice case overall. And there you have it, boys and girls. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Break in the books. Let's do a left-right randomizer, and everyone has a shot at those points right there. So let's go to random.org. Let's flip over to that screen. Left and right. Everybody has a shot at the little consolation, 250 points. If there was more, it'd be winner take all. Three times, one and a two, three times. One, two, three. Left side will get those cards right here. And for the points, one, two, and three. Michael Steel Curtain, Michael Gallucci with that one. After three times, you'll get 250 points coming your way. And there you have it, folks. 12-box picking team number nine of 2018 Panini Contenders Football in the books. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.